Well, when I first told my kids that I was joining Durban Solid Waste, they looked at me and said I'm going to be a dustbin man. Today, when they look at me and what I'm doing and how much they're learning about what their father is heading up, they only come with pride and passion and they often come to my project. Mark Wright is working on the frontier of green technology, creating electricity from trash at dumps around the South African city of Durban. And now this city of three and a half million people is drawing power from this surprising source. Basasa Road landfill is probably one of the largest landfills in southern Africa. We take approximately 4,000 tons of waste per day and a high portion of that is biodegradable waste. On that basis, the landfill gas extraction system was implemented. For most people, dumps are a smelly necessity to modern living. But it's this gas, this smell, that contains methane. In our case, we actively extract the landfill gas through an extraction system in the landfill and take it down to the gas compound where we then use it as a fuel through the engines which generate the electricity and put back into the electricity grid. Long perforated pipes are laid in vast trenches and then covered. These hoses siphon the methane that comes off of the decomposing layers of garbage. This gas is channeled to the power generation compound. 108 cubic meters of gas an hour comes from each well, and foreign experts who visit the project are amazed at what this third world city has accomplished. Here we are in the brain center of the whole project, and here we have the computer which shows a very simple process that takes place. The extraction of the landfill gas diverted to the gas engines as the methane is used as the fuel to turn the engine uh, which generates the electricity and put back into the electricity grid. With the system that we've got here now and the current rate of uh, gas extraction, we are currently generating, generating enough power to supply about five to 6,000 low-cost houses. Methane is 21 times as powerful a greenhouse gas as carbon dioxide. That means that saving or burning one ton of methane is equal to preventing 21 tons of CO2 from being released into the atmosphere. So by preventing this gas from escaping and using it to replace dirty coal power, the project is offering a major emissions reduction that if used widely has the power to slow climate change. These emissions reductions are called carbon credits and the city of Durban is trying to sell these credits to help fund the project. A developing country like South Africa is reliant on carbon trading to fund a project of this nature. A project of this nature just on the electricity sales, due to the low cost of electricity, would not be financially feasible. Local communities and uh, municipalities come to learn from the Durban Solid Waste and our landfill gas to electricity project and the other technologies that we implement. World Bank funding, French Development what Bank funding, all part and parcel of this process. The project is secure for now, but by getting their carbon okay, credits we'll approved, now, possibly now. sometime in 2010, the project will be successful far into the future, creating green landfill sites that improve the quality of life in this coastal city. I think in any project like this, passion plays a massive role. And you have to be passionate about what you're doing in terms of saving the environment in any small way that you can.